Before we begin this video, I am Vinay and I make these videos on free courses, certification, placement preparation, scholarship, internship, trainings, etc. If you are looking to any kind of this data, I strongly recommend you to check my other videos. Now let's get started. So we all know that UGC is holding its breath to take decision on examinations to be conducted for the final year students. And also it's taking a decision on when to start the next academic year. So when this is going on one hand, on the other hand, IIT Bombay has decided to go completely online for the next semester, which means there will be no student on the campus for the next academic year for the semester. So this is happening because so students in IIT Bombay are more from rural India and from across the country. So for this reason, we don't know who has contracted this COVID-19. So students may or not be that good or aware as they come from rural part. So it may happen unknowingly or knowingly. So for this reason, they are going to stop uh, spreading of this pandemic in the college campus just by conducting classes online for the next complete academic semester for the academic. Okay, so this is what happening in IIT Bombay. So if this is going to be accepted and it is going to be complete okay with that institute, this will be also applicable to most of the other IITs in India. So if this is the thing, that's uh, a better alternate to prevent this pandemic. So then there are other institutes and universities that are more likely to follow the same sort. So if you see the decision, the first by an IIT followed, this has taken uh, for the 62 year history of IIT Bombay, this is the first ever different situation in this institute and they are going to be complete online to prevent this. So this has been said by the IIT Bombay director Subhasis Chaudhary. If you see this uh, post by the hindu.com, so I have brought you this as a reference for this decision. So when it is going to be taken into the consideration there will be pros and cons for the students. There will be issues of internet, connectivity, etc. Like devices, etc. And you are not going to get a support equipment for the student to learn better if he comes from instrumentation or mechanical engineering, civil engineering, etc. So this is what the students need to consider before they accept such things. So I wanted to know your decisions and your point of analysis for going online for the next semester. Is it going to be completely fine or not? Let me know in the comment section below. By the way, uh, it is also discussed that the next academic semester is likely to be started in the month of August. But however, it is again thought to be delayed for one more month, which means the college academic is expected to be deferred on to October. So it's likely to start in the October. This was just a guideline being in the consideration. So this is what the news that we have got till now. So for more updates, we'll be uh, updating it on the community tab or I will make a new video. So let me know your comments and your views in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video.